Hello, it's Melissa, your favorite origami owl designer. I'm here to show you how to build a locket from the start. A lot of people ask me, okay, Melissa, I just don't even know how to start to build a locket. So I'm here to help you out. The first thing you're going to do is to choose your charms. There's so many charms to help t tell your story that um, it should be fairly easy for you to pick the ones out that speak to you immediately. So go to your charms because the number of charms that you choose will dictate the size of the locket that you're going to build. So if you have maybe just two or three charms that tell your story, you're going to go with our mini locket. And our mini locket is about the size of a dime and it is also great for younger girls aged three to six. Um, I highly encourage this locket and they can become little charm collectors as well. This comes obviously in our three different colors, rose, yellow, gold, and silver. Then our medium size is about the size of a nickel and you can fit up to five charms in there. Now this one is a screw top as opposed to our minis which it opens on a hinge style. So it opens this way, you put your charms inside and then it has a very strong magnet that will keep it closed. The mediums now are going to have a twist off. Insert your charms and twist them on. These, like our large, are awesome because now you can switch out your locket face to any color and you don't have to buy an entire locket set anymore. You can just purchase a, a different color face if you like, bling, no bling. So here we are, we're gonna, we're gonna build a large locket, which is usually what people purchase is the large. It's about the size of a quarter inside. And let's see if we uh, put our favorite charms inside. Here's a little owl, of course. Um, perhaps faith is important to you. Um, what else should we put in? This one says family heart. I like putting in some bling. So here's some of our, um, our bling um, stars. So cute. Maybe you go camping every weekend and that's kind of something that you and your family always do. How cute does that look? And what else? Maybe one of your kids plays softball. Put that in there. That's good for now. Um, and then we can close it up. Here's a little, is that one family or mom? That one's mom and we can put the mom in there too. So this one has no bling. It's just our heirloom locket. So you'll, you'll twist the, the top on, make sure it's nice and snug. And there you go. And the charm's just uh, a float inside and we'll move around. So once you have that picked out, then you'll choose your chain, the size of the link and the length of your choosing. This was one of our new oval links. It's, it's very hefty and cute. So you'll attach the lobster claw to your locket. And some of our chains come with a little um, O-ring right here that you can attach some dangles to, and that's how you can further bling out your locket by attaching some fun dangles. I love doing that. Here's one of our other fun dangles. Maybe you like taking photographs of, of your kids or your grandkids, uh, you're into photography. That's a really cute dangle too. So now don't forget that you can also put inscriptions with these. So perhaps you have something very meaningful to say, a wedding date, um, I like these are just monograms, simple. You could put just a couple of charms in with that. Um, you know, perhaps you have a cause that's, that's meaningful to you. Just doing something like that, very simple, you can do. So these are all custom inscribed plates that you can put inside your locket to help tell your story. Um, I've got my boys here with their race numbers, uh, sports numbers, or wedding dates. Um, important things like that, you put that inside the locket and that will further help tell your story. So I hope I've helped you out. These are our different locket sizes. As you can see, this is one of our bigger ones. It's our new heritage locket and it has a, a tree of life shelf in it and you can um, put all the different birthstones of your kids and grandkids inside. It's very, very cool. And then we have different shapes, the heart and the rectangular shape as well that are also really popular. So I hope I've helped you out in telling your story and how you do it with building a locket. Thanks for joining me.